So trigonometric identities is the topic of the session. So what are trigonometric identities? Or basically what are the identities in mathematics? Say for example, I take a plus b whole square. We clearly identify that a plus b whole square is a square plus 2ab plus b square. And this holds true for any a and b. Universally, you take any value of a and any value of b in mathematics, it is mathematically true that a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. This proves that it is an identity because it is universally true for any two values taken for a and b. So such expressions which are equated to be true for all values is set, are said to be identities. So trigonometric ratios are also connected with identities. There are some basic identities for which you take any angle and substitute in the equation, you get equal. One of the identity which we are going to prove here, the trigonometric identity which we are going to prove out here. So let's see what is the first trigonometric identity which you are going to derive out of the trigonometric ratios. So initially to come with, I'll consider a right angle triangle ABC to start with identifying the first tri trigonometric identity. So let's take a right angle triangle AB and C and this is theta. So in this I have my opposite side is this, my adjacent side is this, and my hypotenuse is this. Therefore, by using the Pythagoras theorem, I clearly have by Pythagoras theorem, hypotenuse square is opposite square plus adjacent square. So here, what I do is I divide the whole equation by h square. Let's see what happens if I divide the whole equation with h square on both sides, the left hand side and the right hand side. So h square by h square would be o square plus a square by h square is what I get when I just divide both sides of the equation. Now immediately I can cancel this because they are equal in the numerator and the denominator. So let's see what happens when I take this. I take this to the left, I get this as O square plus A square by H square equals 1. When I simplify this further, I can split this as O square by H square plus A square by H square equals 1. Splitting the denominator it goes into each of the term as o square by s h square. Simplifying this further, I get this. As. So when I split the denominator, it goes into each of the term as o square by h square plus a square by h square equal to 1. And when I simplify this further, I get this continued as o square by h square, which I can write as o by h whole square and a square by h square, which I can write as a by h whole square, using the loss of indices, I get this equal to 1. a power m by b power m is a by b whole power m, the law of index, which I have applied out here. So in this case, my opposite by hypotenuse is sine theta because we have already discussed about the trigonometric ratios where opposite by hypotenuse is sine theta which is opposite side by hypotenuse whole square plus adjacent by hypotenuse is cos theta which we have already identified in the trigonometric ratios therefore cos theta is adjacent by hypotenuse so in place of this I get cos theta whole square equals 1. Now usually the powers of the sign are written before the angle the notation and the rule of writing the power for a trigonometric ratio is we don't write sine theta whole square but we write sine square theta plus cos square theta equals 1. 
it comes after this where sin square theta is assumed as sin theta times sin theta cos square theta is assumed as cos theta times cos theta and then this is the trigonometric identity which is identified in case of the trigonometric ratio sin and cos so the first identity we have identified as sin square theta plus cos square theta is always equal to 1 when I square the sine, I square the cos and add them, I get 1. Of course, for the same angle, theta is the first trigonometric identity. So, dividing the whole equation, let's see what happens if I divide with a square. Let's see if there's a new trigonometric identity which I can discover out of dividing the whole equation by a square. Previously, I divided with h square. Then now, I attempt on dividing the whole equation by a square. And then finally, let's see in the next session of what happens when I divide the whole equation by O squared. So initially, here to start with, dividing the whole equation by A squared. Then I get here O squared plus A squared by A squared equals H squared by A squared is what I get. When I split the term, each of the terms through the denominator, then this reduces to O square by A square plus A square by A square is H square by A square is what is obtained when this is further simplified. So that this and this being same get cancelled and I get 1. That implies I get this as O square by A square plus 1 is h square by a square. This gets reduced to 1. Now this, when rearranged through the law of index, I get this to be O by a whole square raised to the power 2 on the whole plus 1 equals h by a whole raised to 2. Now comes the question of the trigonometric ratios. What is opposite by adjacent? We have seen that opposite by adjacent is tan theta for the right angle triangle ABC with angle theta. Opposite by adjacent is tan theta. Therefore, I get this as tan theta whole square plus 1 equals hypotenuse by adjacent is secant theta because adjacent by hypotenuse is cosine theta. So, reciprocal of cosine is H by A is identified to be secant theta using its respective formula as discussed in the previous sessions. That implies when I rearrange, this is reduced as 1 plus tan square theta equals secant square theta is one of the identity which is identified in trigonometric ratios. The second identity identified here is that 1 plus tan square theta is always equal to the secant square theta for any angle theta, the second identity of trigonometric ratios. Now dividing the whole equation by finally with O square, let's see what is the trigonometric identity we derive out of dividing the whole equation by O square. So in this case, O square plus A square by O square equals H square by O square when the, both the sides of the equations are divided with O square. So proceeding similarly by splitting each of the terms, I get this as h square by o square. Thus, these two being equal gets cancelled and I get 1 plus a square by o square equals h square by o square. Now proceeding similarly with this, I get this to be 1 plus A by A square by O square, I write as A by O whole square and then the right hand side I get H by O whole square and then that implies 1 plus A by O opposite by adjacent is tan theta so adjacent by opposite is clearly cot theta in its respective trigonometric ratios. Therefore, A by O is substituted for cot theta and H by O is 
co cosecant theta because the reverse of sine this is reverse of sine which is cosecant therefore hypotenuse by opposite is cosecant theta whole square is what we get so this on rearranging i get one plus cot square theta is identically equal to cosecant square theta is the third trigonometric identity identified connecting the trigonometric ratios for the right angle triangle abc is how we understand each of the trigonometric identities the most important of them being the three identities which we have derived.